welcome back youtube uh i'm a little late on this one i didn't know about this uh somebody sent me this on my twitter account and posted it in my discord appreciate that follow follow me in my discord shut up um my discord and twitter and it was getting blown up like crazy i was trying to see what the hell this was and i did see i didn't watch this i saw this but i heard people talking bad about it and since i want to get into the whole power scaling and universal stuff and all this stuff. I ought to watch the beginning of this, so that's why y'all just don't see it straight, go straight to the fight scene. So, y'all finna see my live reaction to this. All right, the combatants. This is basically Mana versus Aizen. Are set and we run the data through all possibilities. But first, if you want the confidence of an anime supervillain, check out Blue Chew. All right, we're gonna skip Blue Chew because you can see me. I can see everything. Uh, they talking to each other. <laughs> and it looks like it looks like they're using dead Mada. They're not using live Mada. Did you see? Because his eyes are black. Transformation look way better than eyes and transformation, if you ask me. Butterfly Monster Man is not really scary. Mara shit look cool and terrifying. Second form, well technically this is his third form. Oh. Susan, perfect the Susano, yeah. I'm actually glad I get to do this right. This fight is actually kind of hype. Hey, yo, I don't understand why they're cutting uh, the rocks though. Yeah. Why not for the clap back? He like, bitch please. I can do that too. Oh. Get out of here. Hold this. I got some for you. These nuts! I love it. The thrill of battle. The pounding of my heart. The taste of my own blood. I love it! Oh snap. <laughs> Might I go into his insanity? Shot and gone. You almost had me there, you tricky bastard. Nothing escapes my illusion. I knew it. I about to say, they not Eisen is falling down. No, your place. I guess Eisen beat Mana. Um, don't. Wait. You better eat, eat. You damn right. You damn fucking right. What a wonderful dance. And then they gave Mario a cool pose. Yes, sir. Mario oh, people are in good of tonight. Of course, won. He fake died twice for his 5D chess plan, while Aizen only fake died once. Aizen and Madara were extremely evenly matched in raw power and speed. By our calculations, Madara spreading the God Tree's roots with his chakra was about seven times more powerful than the best that Aizen could scale to with his rare Yoku. And both ended up being roughly as fast as each other. 
While there are a range of possible feats and numbers to go with to determine their limits, the point is they're always going to be close to even. Which means the main thing that mattered here were their powers and how they countered each other. Madara's enormous variety of abilities eventually overwhelmed Aizen. And I'm gonna tell y'all why I, 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 like I think Madara, I'm gonna give y'all my opinion. And my, my, my opinion is gonna make a clear decision with their like sin. Limbo clones. Hell, the Rinnegan lets you see and remove human souls, and that's exactly what a Soul Reaper is. Both Chakra and Rare Yoku utilize spirit energy and operated in similar ways, being formed into attacks like Ninjutsu and Kido. That meant that Madara's ability to absorb Ninjutsu allowed him to nullify the vast majority of Aizen's range attacks and even dispel his force fields. And despite how OP Aizen's complete hypnosis was, Sharingan users can break out of illusions no sweat, even ones as powerful as Itachi's Sukuyomi. And since Madara can switch between the Rinnegan and the Sharingan at will, he'd be able to break out of an illusion anytime he wanted. Aizen's illusions are nearly perfect, but fellow Captain Unohana was able to subconsciously notice its flaws. With an eye as perceptive as the Sharingan, which can spot imperfections in Genjutsu's all the time, it was only inevitable that Madara would be able to quickly break out. However, the same couldn't be said for Aizen, who never showed any resistance to the kind of mental illusions Madara can create. Even setting illusions aside, the sheer quantity of offensive options at Madara's disposal, whether it be his clones, meteors, or monsters summoned by the Rinnegan, kept Aizen constantly on the back foot. But none of that mattered if they couldn't kill each other, and both had pretty insane healing factors that could recover from just about anything, except for those pesky eight balls of doom. Madara's truth-seeking orbs were capable of no, no, completely Naruto molecularly annihilating so spiritual beings and preventing bodies. them from regenerating. <laughs> And, again, Aizen was a spiritual being. And Aizen lacked the ability to do the same irreversible damage to Madara, the ghost of the Uchiha had exactly what he needed to put this actual ghost down for good. Aizen was an unbelievably overpowered foe, but Madara's own powers, illusions, and devastating truth-seeking orbs allowed him to crush the ex-Shinigami. Sosuke should have kept his Aizen the prize in... Do you feel any shame at They're all? They're stupid. Eh, moderately. Ha! Double pun. Suck it, Wiz. The winner is Madara Uchiha. Alright. I'm finna give y'all my reason why I knew Madara So, I mean, I'm gonna tell y'all why. Because if I tell you why and break it down and make it make sense. Because I know it's a lot of YouTubers out there who have said stuff about this and said that no Aizen should win and all this and stuff and I've been wanting to do a reaction to this for the longest I just kept forgetting about it Literally, like legitimately I like forgot to do a reaction to this because I know some people have been spamming me with this to do a reaction for this but it's been done um so let me break it down because with this with this whole scenario going back and forth I know a lot of people are upset um, and I'm gonna tell you why I think Mada shut up phone <laughs> Mada should win. So basically, uh, if y'all don't know, uh, the shot in, and 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 I'm tired of people saying Aizen is OP when there's so many other anime characters just as OP as Aizen is. You got Goku, you got uh, who else? Yuha. Uh, you got Mada. You got Naruto, Sasuke, Itachi. Uh, I could go on for a whole bunch of characters from Fairy to I don't even watch Fairy Tale, but I know Fairy Tale has some OP ass broken shit that doesn't even make sense. Uh, what else? A couple of animes. Uh, Sinbag is OP as fuck. Uh, the the kid from Fire Force is OP as fuck. Oh, the the chick from When They Cry. For those who don't watch When They Cry. The girl is technically an omnipotent guy. She's basically, well, she's not omnipotent. Because omnipotent beings don't have flaws in their powers. These characters have flaws in their powers. There are some omnipotent anime characters, but they're not omnipotent. Omnipotent, they kind of got like weaknesses to their powers for their powers to be used. Uh, if that makes sense, which is weird. Uh, and I'm going to tell y'all why Mata should win this. For one, all right. What an, I'm gonna break up all the arguments people like to use. The first one is Aizen's hypnosis. A lot of people like to use Aizen hypnosis from the manga because in the manga, spoiler, Aizen fuses with his Zanpakuto. Which I understand, makes sense. I can see why y'all would use that as an argument. 
makes completely sense. I understand with that. And once he fused with it, he has his South Octo powers, which means he can he just you being looking at eyes will put you under his hypnosis. And you won't be able to tell what's really fake. And it only he only he can turn it off. And well, since it merged with him, he can literally just turn it off and on. And you have to touch him to turn it off now. Instead of touching his sword, you have to touch him physically. Um I can see why y'all use that argument. It makes sense. Sound kind of OP and broken, right? But let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. If I got some Naruto fans in here, some Naruto fans, I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna have some Naruto comments down here and some bleach coming. But this is for my Naruto fans. And I'm gonna tell y'all why. Why the hypnosis won't work on uh Mada. For one, it won't work on him because if my Naruto fans remember this, in Naruto part one, part one, when they were kids, when they were children, Itachi came to the Hen Lee village, right? And they was coming to get Naruto. I'm pretty sure everybody remember the episode. That episode was like probably the hypest episode. It's Kakashi and Asuma and the other chick was the African her name. Whatever her name was, she's like the strongest Genjutsu there in the Elite village that they had. Right? Basically illusions. Kind of like, she's basically like Aizen, but a female version of him. She can do illusions without really casting a hand sign. And everybody thought she was broken. So... What ended up happening is Itachi comes to the hand of the league village with Kisame and Itachi walks up. He's like, I'm gonna smack all three of y'all, right? The first thing this chick does, I can't remember her name. I'm pretty sure somebody in the comments let me know below what was her name. She's the girl that Osama got pregnant. And when he died, had a child by. She had his child, basically. She tries to put Itachi on the Genjutsu when they first show up. And guess what happened? It didn't work. <laughs> he bounced it back on her. And she put herself in her own illusion. And he's like, yeah, illusions don't work on me. Or work, I'm pretty sure they don't work on any Chi that has a shining eye. So, for those who don't, y'all probably like, where's he going with this? Uh, I'm going to give you an example. If you ever hold up a mirror before, right? Y'all ever hold up a mirror where somebody tries to hypnotize someone? You know, hypnotize is real and real. Like, we hypnotize somebody. And if you try to hypnotize somebody and they're holding a the mirror up, it will bounce back on you. So, remember that now. Remember that, 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 that tool I just gave you right there. So, now I want y'all to think of this. Put this in your brain. Think of the shotting gun as a mirror and Eisen is the hypnosis, right? <laughs> so, Technically, technically, eyes and hypnosis won't even work because he would just be putting himself on his own hypnosis. He won't even be able to fight my dog because it wouldn't even happen. All my dog got to do is keep his shining gun on. And all the Chios never turn their shining gun off. They, through the whole series, none of them has never turned it off besides when they was mastering it and trying to learn how to use it. So, if I even just sit there, right? Because a lot of people like to say this is an example. They'd be like, oh, I even just sit there and my dad would just be in an illusion. He'd just cut his head off. It wouldn't work. Because if he got his shining gun on, Eisen, the moment he activated his Zompok Toe powers, it would just bounce back on him. So, not only is he fighting his own illusion that he cast, he's fighting my illusion at the same time. That's the first one. That's just one. That's just the first one. And we know Mara can do this because Itachi has been shown to do this. Sisui has been shown to do this. And who else? Somebody else did it. Uh, give me a second. Sasuke has done it. When he's fighting Danzo. And remind you, Danzo had like 50 shotgun guns on his arm. 50. And they're just one. That's just the first one. So the hypnosis thing that's all like you wouldn't even work. It wouldn't even happen. And a lot of people will argue and say, no, that, that's not how the shot gun work. Bro, it's in the manga. In the manga, it says it word for word that 
you cannot put a new Chiha on that. They you, Kakashi says this and explains it to Naruto and Sasuke because Sasuke and Naruto, I think they have fought. A, I can't remember. They have fought a. Uh, I think it's when they fought Zabuza and Zabuza was doing a hit and miss, and he was doing a, a Genjutsu on them, and it wasn't working on Sasuke because Sasuke had the shining gun. He could see Zabuza, and I and Kakashi also could see him too because he had the shining gun in his other eye, so he would close his eye and use the other eye. They specifically say this. Go back and read Naruto Part One manga where they says illusions can Genjutsu or illusion cannot work on the Chiyos. They don't even have to spot in purpose in illusion because they would never be anyone. <laughs> it wouldn't work. It would just bounce off of them. It would just be like it would just be like me walking up to a mirror, right? But like, oh yeah, I got the power of hypnosis, right? I look in the mirror and I cast hypnosis on the mirror. The shit would just bounce it back at. <laughs> Come on now. And the second reason why Aizen wouldn't be able to beat Mada is Mada has the power to rewind time. It's been in the games, it's been in the anime, and it's been in the manga. And it's been confirmed three times he can do this. You can actually go type it up. You can just type in Mada on YouTube, type in Mada or rewinds time back. And he does this. He does this multiple times when he's fighting Har Hashirama when they fought twice. He kept rewinding time back, but Hashirama well, still beat his ass. He could rewind time back. Which is OP in itself. And now, hold up now. I'm not done. All right? For those who don't remember, y'all remember the scene in uh, Naruto Shippuden when Mada made Shadow Clones? And he said, do y'all want the Shadow Clones to use Susano or no Susano? So, I want y'all to imagine this. Let's say Mada made 10 clones of himself. And Aizen was fighting him, right? Aizen would get smacked so hard. I mean, so hard, it wouldn't even be funny. Because not only can he rewind time back, he's already putting him on his own illusion. And even if he did put Mada in his illusion, he can just rewind time back to stop it from even happening. Especially once he figure out what his power is. Especially Because Aizen likes to talk. He likes to talk a lot. If you go watch the episode, he's talking a lot. He's telling everybody what his power does. And that's a big mistake for Aizen because Mada is not slow or dumb. He's an intelligent 5D chess player. If you, That's like me walking up to me. That's like walking up to Superman. No, I ain't going to say Superman. That's like walking up to Batman and telling Batman, hey, man, I can blow up buildings just by pointing my fingers. And you think Batman just going to sit there and let me do that after I just told him that? He's going to beat the shit out of me. So, that's reason number two. The third reason is, he has Izanami. For those who don't know what Izanami is, I think Moon, one, uh, this is a different Izanami. It's where he can manipulate uh, reality temporarily. Where he can bend the rules to how he wants it to play out. He can use Izanami and basically just reverse time. Right, just he just and he can keep doing this because he has the rhythm gun. So he, it, it it's not like he it uses up his shining gun because it technically restores his shining gun. And not only that, now check this out. It's gonna get even op -er than this. Not only that, he can make shadow clones that can do this. Do the same thing what he's doing. And the Hogan Q has no way to counter that because unless the Hogan Q is like 4D or some shit, like you can break the fourth wall or whatever, then it might be able to stop it. But Mario just have too many tools at his disposal to kill Ice. He has the Renegon. gun. Renegon, he can Mario can literally walk up to Ice and touch him. And absorb him into him and steal his power. Because he's literally a soul. And I know a lot of people are going to try to argue with this and say, oh man, that's not true. That won't happen. He can't, he can't bounce that back on. Yes, he yeah, Yes, he can. Yes, he, it's shot it down. Shot it down, my boy. I didn't write this month. I didn't write the story. I didn't write how OP the shot it down is. That's why all the Uchihas were killed. They were so broken and bullshit. None of their powers made any type of sense. 
And people lowball Mata so much that they don't even realize he's OP as hell. Now, now we got those out of the way. We're stepping to OP territory, which is Sage the Sixth Path Mata. Not only can he spam everything I just said, but he can do a hundred times better on crack and Sage the Sixth Path mode. Uh, which is why Naruto and Sasuke both had to fight him at the same time. And just in case he started rewinding time back, Sasuke would be able to stop because he has a ready gun and shot gun. Naruto doesn't. So, and hold up now. Hold up. Hold up. Mada never lost in the, the Great War, just letting y'all know. Mada, Mada did not lose to Naruto and Sasuke because he probably would have clapped their cheeks. Cause they won't even know what to deal, how to stop. That's why Mushashi Kishimoto, I think, had somebody just betray him because he didn't know how to have Naruto and Sasuke beat this dude. He was, he was unstoppable. Not only that, Aizen has lost to Ichigo Kurosaki. Not only has he lost to Ichigo Kurosaki, he's also lost to... Uh, is this like Uryu? Am I saying it right? It has to be Uryu. The keeper of the shop dude with the hat on. Is it Uryu? I think it's Uryu. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. Might be Uryu. And he has clapped his cheeks. And he was smarter than Aizen. He could have took the Hokey Q and became the most powerful character in the show. But he didn't. And this whole thing about Bleach characters being like universal level. Stop the cow. Stop the cow. That's a mistranslation. I already don't do research. I can't find it nowhere where it states that Bleach characters are universal, though. And as some YouTuber or somebody says it, but they don't even show where they got their information from. Because when I go look at the Daijinshi, it says something different. It says world. Or whatever the other language it said. I forgot the, the language it said it in. It said it in Japanese. But, you know, Japanese words. <laughs> the thing about translating words, this is the big problem. When you translate a Japanese or Chinese word, when they say a specific word and that word means two different words, one can say universal, one can say the world. Universal and world are two different things. So it's like that that's technically a Daijinshu era and a Japanese era because they didn't quote unquote explain it more thoroughly that hey, this is universal, not planetary you know and that's happened a lot with a lot of these anime shows where they be like oh this is universal but then when you read the word in translate they'd be like oh it means world or planet or whatever you see what i'm saying so i just want to get that out of there because i know i'm gonna get some comments and i know we're gonna have some bleach fans in here talking some shit which is fine you have the right to judge your opinion i'm not gonna stop y'all from you know, judging your opinion just like i had to do yesterday said why saitama could beat goku which he can't just, just can't. You know, he can't. And I'm gonna show you why he can't, because I got another reaction react to Saitama versus Popeye. I know y'all gonna love this one. Yeah. But anyways, you guys, that's all my rant for today. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. I just want to get my two cents on this fight. And what I think of the fight was good. I knew my dog was gonna win. I knew Aizen stood no chance once he, he's fighting the most OP Chiha entire Naruto series. The mind never lost. So, it, it, I, don't, I guess you I guess you can technically count Zetsu beating him, but it wasn't even a beat. It more like he just stabbed him in the back. He didn't even kill him. He just turned him into a woman. What to call you? But I don't know, man. But anyway, make sure you you guys like this video and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And sure, and let all your friends know that there's a new anime Blitzway is in town to adjust these situations with some of these people that brains are super, super slow. And just letting y'all know, I'm writing a comic book myself. So letting y'all know, I know I know all a lot of this stuff because I research DC and Marvel and a lot of anime shows because I'm making my own type of manga for my own characters. And I'm, I'm making some OP ass shit, you know, some bullshit that you probably won't even like. But, you know, it is what it is. But anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Peace, I'm out. Welcome back, YouTube. Welcome back to Blitz Wave YouTube channel. 
Today, y'all might see my stream layout a little bit different, but hey, it's it's right here. This is my new stream layout. I uh, hope you guys like it and enjoy it. Uh, today, we're reacting to the Black Moth Wukong 8-Minute Gameplay Trailer 4K RTX, which is the graphics card I have <coughs> in my PC. Uh, I have the, the old, well, not an old, old version, but it's a decent model. But, uh... Yeah, let's check this uh Song Kong out. I can't believe I missed this though. Somebody had tweeted me this. I got I need to start paying more attention to my tweets. Sorry to people who follow me on Twitter. Appreciate that follows on Twitter, you guys. Alright, that's why Song Kong can transform to anything. Insects, bugs. <laughs> 